on behalf of the management, the staff, the members of the band, and myself, we'd like to thank each and every one of you coming out. Look, we got Jeff Sanford, we got the whole crew down here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, would you please help me welcome to the stage Winslow? <laughs> So um, the band was formed in 2000, and, end of 2005. So wow. we uh, we've been around for a little bit now, and uh, we started off as a cover band with 1959, and over the last few years it turned into an original band. And, and I'll tell you, it, it's been so worthwhile. There's there's been some good times and some bad times in those years, but I've got a chance to see the country and, and meet some amazing people. And I think that everything we've done so far has been really worthwhile. Not that I don't enjoy playing the music that other people have written, but when you play a song that's from the heart and then you see the connection with the crowd, I don't think that there's any other experience that really meets that, really matches that. You know, the crazy thing about music is that what a song means to you is not what a song means to someone else. And so I have some songs that were uh, dark times in my life when they were written or or maybe there were joyful times and a person talks to me about what they think the song's about and it's totally different. It's, it's, um, I've, I think the strongest moment I had, I had a, a young girl that I, I met at work actually, she was about 18 and um, her father had just passed away. She texted me one day and she said, I just wanted you to know that every morning what's been getting me through has been listening to one of your songs called Nothing Season. And at that point you realize that your art has become important to someone. And that's really why you make art in the first place. Yeah. All right, we're gonna keep rolling with the music. It's gonna be a mix of covers and originals. If you wanna groove with us, dance with us, feel free. If not, just sit down and relax and enjoy the music. This is anti-gravity love song. far from, from, from my hometown, uh, but you know, I went to Kent State for college, and I really loved being over that in that, in that part of Ohio, and Akron just seemed like a very natural fit. There's a lot to do. It's kind of a growing city, and so you know, I make it back to, to Conneaut whenever I can, and back to Ashtabula, but I really spend most of my time in, in, in Akron. full-length albums and then we also released a live album that we all hated 
being swept under the rug, so really, really two full-length albums. The last one we released last year, Left of the Right Direction, we actually have those for sale tonight, and you can find them online. But, uh, you know, that that's really the, the album that we're all most proud of, and I know I'm most proud of. It's just a lot of songs that really means it. That's, that's the plan. We're writing right now. Uh, we've already started recordings for the next project. And this one's going to be a little bit more low budget. All about us just creating something we love. Uh, we, you know, we've signed the record deals and we've had some experiences with that. We felt like this should be an album that's about us creating what we want to put out. And that's really what this is. I find to love checking, the traveling rhymes. I said I'm to believe you we have gone all over the country at this point, uh, from Pennsylvania, Michigan, New York, Jersey, South Carolina, North Carolina, West Virginia, Florida, Texas, uh, Tennessee, I'm literally all over. And I mean, we've played some shows in front of 10,000 people, and we've played shows in front of 20 people who wish you weren't there. So I mean, literally, we've spanned the gauntlet, and I, I think it's been incredible, all the, the fans that have come out, the support we've had over the years in a lot of different places. Last year we actually were in the Hard Rock Cafe Battle of Bands and so it started off over 10,000 bands and we actually had to just submit music online. We ended up winning and being the lone representative of Ohio and Cleveland and we battled against bands from all over uh, not only the United States but several other countries. We didn't end up winning so that stunk uh, but you know what the exposure was amazing. The way people rallied behind us we were all over the radio, all over the TV in Ohio and um, you know that's the kind of thing that, that really can take you to that next level. To be the man and play the ball, I want to say that the places we play really, they really vary. There are shows that we play where we're in coffee shops. There are shows that we play where they're, they're venue shows with other local bands. And then we also do play those shows where we're House of Blues, things like that, you know, a thousand people. Um, festivals, we love playing festivals more than anything. I think that's really our niche. And with some of those, you end up in front of 10,000 people, 5,000 people, so a lot of festivals these days. So, do you do things differently with in front of 5,000 or 10,000 versus that one? You have to, you have to. Uh, I think the biggest differences end up really just being the, the songs that you choose to play. There's something more intimate about playing those sh the small shows, smaller crowd. Um, you can pour out a little bit more emotion where you can read off of each other and feel off of each other. I would say there's more balance at the small shows, the intimate shows. The bigger shows, you gotta play the songs that everybody can bob their head to, the songs people can dance to. So festivals, people end up getting a lot more of those songs from us. Yeah. 